Hello, my friends. I just finished building these whoops here. And I have taken some pictures along the way to show you the build process. Part one, the brain. Flight controller and camera. Quarter slices of hot glue molten in place with the help of an SMD heat gun work as a diffusor for the LEDs. To connect the camera we need power and ground and because we want to inject OSD we also need video in and out. There's no connector on the board for this plug so I cut the plugs and strip a little bit of the insulation then pre-tin the pads, pre-tin the wires and then solder them exactly as per this picture. Exactly, exactly as, as per, per this, this picture. picture. Next step is to glue the camera mount to the flight controller. I use adhesive silicone for that job. I've used a lot of different glues and this stuff is my favorite. It stays rubbery but it grips really hard to whatever surface you stick it to. Work it into both sides, you have enough time for it. it takes at least an hour to start setting. Make sure it's perfectly straight and level and then leave it at a level safe place for at least 12 better 24 hours. Then take a two millimeter zip tie and fix the camera to the mount. That concludes the brain building process so we can move over to building the framework. Twist the motor wires stick the motors into the frame, screw the flight controller onto the frame and then stick some props on. That completes the construction process but before I can go and test fly them I still need to flash and configure the flight controller. I recently made a detailed video on how to set up Betaflight and OpenTX if you want to watch that in full length, you can click the link in the video description. I like Betaflight 3.2 for the OSD, but until now I wasn't really happy with how it flew. I will show you a little test routine that I use to see how good a quad handles in, let's say, extreme situations. One of the most challenging flight situations for a quad seems to be a dive combined with a yaw. Right here, Betaflight 3.2.1 would have dropped a wing. Let's fly this again. Dive and yaw. Yep, that worked okay. Little range test in between. Yep, that works good too. So let's fly up here. A little turn to the other side, so if I go over the roof here and then crank it to the right, that's also the situation where you would um, drop a wing. Again, down faster and... See that? That's what I'm talking about. So it's not completely gone in 3.2.2, but it's a lot better. And if you enable air mode, it gets even better. So for the record, this was flown with air mode disabled. If you want to discuss this better flight flight behavior, you may come over to the forum thread that I've linked to in the second link in the video description. And if you would like to purchase one of these quads on my table here right now, you may click the third link in the video description. After recording this video, I shipped these quads to our US warehouse and I waited with publishing this video until they have arrived. So if you want to have one, you better head over there quickly because, you know, it's limited edition.
not to sound fancy, but just because that's how it is. I can't build more than I can build. A quarter day keeps the doctor away. See you over there.